Morning everybody, Friday morning, I'm on my way to work. I want, I'm gonna try and keep this one as short as I can, but I did want to just tell everyone that I hope as uh, these, these little videos come out each day that they're encouraging you, this is my prayer anyway, <laughs> that they're encouraging you, challenging you, making you think about life, uh, and, and at the very least, bringing a little levity to your situation as you go. So I hope though they're having the desired effect. And I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about processing the death of a loved one. I was thinking about this this morning because I was missing my dad. And, uh, you know, it's been 16 years now. He passed away just before Michael was born. And, um, you know, I love my dad so much. And when he passed away after, you know, at the age of 60, uh, after decades of renal failure from transplants to um, renal dialysis to peritoneal dialysis to finally one day he said, listen, I'm, I can't do it anymore. He called us all on a Tuesday and said, listen, I quit doing dialysis. I can't do it. I don't know how much longer I'm going to live. Uh, you know, and he told us some things as a parent and just reassured us that I, that he loved us and that we were able to all just kind of get together with him and kind of, you know, be with him as he went out. And he, he quit doing dialysis on a Tuesday and died that Friday. Um, and it was a super duper painful experience. So much so that on days as I would drive around, I, I, I felt like, uh, I was losing my mind a little bit like wow if I just drive my car into this tree as fast as I can this pain on the inside of me will stop you know and and so obviously you know you, you can't do those things or I chose not to do those things I have a I have a wife and three kids at uh, two two in a bit Mike Marie was pregnant with Micah at the time so you know that wasn't really a, a quality option <laughs> but how do you process that? You know, when, when someone you love so much is just gone now and is no longer a part of your life and you're going to go through the rest of your life experiencing life and the challenges that their being with you would certainly make easier. How do you process that? And I know for me, I, uh, I had to be willing to just feel the pain for a while and to just, uh, and I always encourage people when they lose a loved one, be willing to feel what you feel until you're done feeling it. And that's part of the process. Uh, and so I was had to be willing to, you know, feel pain. Um, and I also had to tell my kids, I said, Hey guys, listen, if, if dad bursts out into tears, it's just because he misses grandpa. There's nothing wrong with us. Uh, and so you have to be willing to just feel what you're feeling until you're done feeling it. And then after that, you want to, uh, also be willing to transition out of that. And one of the things that I did is I, you know, I relied on all the, just the great times that I had with my dad, all the lessons he taught without saying a word, um, the fun times we had, the things we did, uh, you know, trips out to the woods with our busted tractor, all those things that, um, you know, those lessons I took from my dad and those times that we had together that were, you know, learning experiences and just fun and all those things. I took those and those helped me transition past the pain and the life that he had with us became a strength instead of the fact that he's gone now became a weakness. And so, you know, pain comes in waves sometimes and now it's, you know, for me, few and far between and most of the time it's just remembering him fondly and uh, laughing about, you know, things that he said or did or, or also just enjoying the fact that the strength that was who he was has now assimilated itself into my life and it's a part of who I am. And so I hope that helps you and, and not everybody's situation is the same, but I want to encourage you that the pain does lessen over time and that, you know, it does transition over to that, that person that you love just being a constant source of strength in your life, uh, even in their absence that you build off for the rest of your life. And, and hopefully we're out there building our day and doing our thing and we're becoming that source of strength and those memories and all those learning experiences for our circle of loved ones. So I hope that helps. I'm sorry this is long, but... Uh, my prayer is that that helps you and get out and max out your day today. Bless you.